Hi. So, I know there's a lot of different tier lists in that I've seen. Uh, <laughs> Hi. So, I know that there's a lot of Dead by Daylight tier lists already out there. But something that I've never actually seen is a Dead by Daylight killer tier list from a new survivor's perspective. I'm by no means like completely new to the game. But I thought it would be interesting because, I mean, like, I only have one character at Prestige 1, and please don't bully me, but it is Meg. I don't really have any other survivors, I don't really play m many of the killers, and I haven't really played much of the game. I only have a few hours in it, so I thought it'd be interesting to make a tier list of how it feels like to play against each and every single one of these killers in games as a new survivor. So, for the first killer, we actually have Trapper. And Trapper's an interesting one because, well, Trapper, I feel like, although he does have a really cool concept, as a survivor, like for me, I don't really find him much of an issue. And a lot of the times, I just kind of find myself, like, very easily avoiding his traps. I mean, they're just on the ground. Like, you can see where the traps are, you can avoid them. And, like, yeah, sure, you can play against a good Trapper. But honestly, you just stay away from that part of the map because he's very map oriented. Like he, he not map oriented, but rather like section of the map. Like he, he controls sections of the map at once. So I really don't feel like the trapper is much of an issue, especially in my point in the game, because like one, nobody really plays him because he kind of sucks, but he also just like, isn't that good. Even if you do play him, because he can only control one part of the map and like you can also avoid his traps and deactivate them so honestly the trapper it's not that bad to play against hold on this is really annoying me i'm just gonna make this blue real quick like yeah yeah there we go uh okay anyways the trapper it really isn't that bad uh to play against if there's a really good trapper he's not very fun to play against uh he's like a d even if he's a bad trapper though it's like a c because then they'll put they won't just like and hear me out i think if it's a bad trapper then they'll kind of spread out their traps along the map making more of a like constant presence along the map making it a bit more scary and a bit more fun for me personally because like i think that trapper to C and leave it at that. Next up, we have the Wraith. Honestly, the Wraith is someone that I don't really see played too often, and honestly, I think that's for good reason. I don't think he's very good. Um, but when I do find myself playing against a Wraith, they usually has a very omnipresent feeling like that you could be in the presence of a wraith at any time because they can go invisible so honestly i think i'm gonna put wraith at like a b because it constantly keeps you on your toes constantly keeps you thinking like oh is the wraith behind me or is the wraith okay next we have hillbilly and hillbilly if it's a bad hillbilly it's honestly like i don't know i Hillbilly is a difficult one to place because with a really good hillbilly, it's not fun at all, and I'm gonna put it at D. Because there's no chase involved. There's no pallet. He just breaks them. I, I'm pretty sure he breaks them. Um, it's just not fun. It's not fun. You can't really loop him because that's not how he plays. Um, he just insta down. So I'm gonna put him in a D if he's good. If it's a bad hillbilly. Okay, so next up we have the nurse, and honestly, the nurse really isn't something I deal with on a regular basis. Like, I see a nurse player once in a blue moon in low ranks. Um, so honestly, basing it off of whether or not the nurse is good tends to be how fun it is to play against the nurse. Because obviously, we all know, if it's a really good nurse that knows how to blink, knows how to, you know, stuff like that, and basically knows how to blink, but if it's a bad nurse, it's S tier. Why is it S tier? Because you know that they can con, con like, uh, God, 
you know that they can cover long distances in very short amount of time, and they can probably hit a teleport if they can see you, but they don't really know how to get around the map and traverse the map, so it's an S tier if they don't want to play nurse, but it's F tier if they are good at nurse. Yeah, I said that right. So, uh, it's hard to place nurse, but usually if it's a nurse player, they're usually pretty good, so I'm gonna put nurse at F, because it's not fun. There's no chase involved, there's no power dropping, there's no looping, there's no when you're playing against nurse, they just hit you, and honestly, those experiences outweigh the experiences with the vendor, so I'm gonna have to put nurse at F. Next up, we have Michael Myers, or... I don't know his name other than that okay so next up we have the shape who I, I'm not gonna lie I just call him Michael Myers because that's all I know him as um, shape in like my experiences with the shape has not have not been fun because often more than more often than not my teammates are complete idiots um, and I know I'm a meg man but usually it's the Meg mains that get stalked. Don't worry, I play with someone that is good at the game, so I don't get stalked because he knows that he he taught me how to not get stalked. Basically, Michael Myers, he's, a, he's decently fun. He feels very threatening, and you're always on your toes looking out for him. So when you're just starting out the game and like you're just getting into it, it's not very fun because he feels very overpowering. Like, he, you feel like you cannot do anything against his stock and against his insta down because it's an insta down. That's what it feels like for most insta downs, I feel like, at the beginning of when you playing. So I'm gonna put Michael Myers. <sighs> See, here's the thing with that argument like, his insta down does feel very powerful. But it, I, in my opinion, I guess, well, this is my opinion. So I think my opinion, I'm gonna put him at S. I like playing against this shape only because of his presence around the map. I really think when a killer has like a presence. Alright, next up we have the Hag, and I'm not gonna lie, I've really only played against the Hag like three times, and I've lost every single game. I don't like playing against the Hag, in my experiences, it's just, you go to a, like, I know there's techs and things that you can do to avoid getting um, jump scared, and then like they teleport to the jump scare, but I know there's things you can do to avoid that, and avoid getting hit. But I don't always look out for those types of things, and if I miss the fact that it's a hag on the tips at the loading point of the game, which is really helps me out by the way, and I don't know when that goes away, but I hope it never does. Um, a hag, I, I would know I don't know if before, but if I don't know that it's a hag, and I'm probably immediately going to die. That usually is bad. I'm going to hook someone, and I'm going to die. I'm hooking them in the trade. Um, I'm not always the first time I'm picking a hag, don't worry, not that bad. Uh, when I do know that, I'm pretty good with looking around and seeing. So, I'm going to put... And, and then we'll get into like the omnipresence thing. Not so much. It's really the trap on the floor, and when you just see them, it's really not fun. And so you have to put some other things and you have to go to the trap and use the Not very fun to play against, but it would be very pleasing. There's something you like. So I'm gonna put Hag at like a B tier to play against because it keeps you on edge, keeps you on your toes. Next up is the Doctor, and the Doctor I do not like playing against the Doctor. Um, the only time I've ever played against the Doctor, I won, and I didn't even see the Doctor literally the entire game. I just don't like playing against him in low ranks, because usually the teammates are idiots, and I have to do everything for them anyways. So I'm going to put him at like a D tier. Don't really like playing against the Doctor. Next up we have the Huntress, and honestly, I don't know about the Huntress, I'm going to be honest. The Huntress is a very interesting one. Her, although I will admit, I love her, her her lullaby. Her lullaby is, I mean, as everybody would say, one of the best parts of her character, and it makes her just so much more terrifying. And I know she's not good in indoor maps because she's like a long range character. Um, but her in indoor maps is like terrifying, like actually terrifying, like with with her with her um, lullaby, and you have no idea, like, if she's near you. Well, I mean, you had you have an idea, but, like, you don't know what floor she's on, and, like, you don't know where she is, and she could be, like, charging charging up her hatchet from all the way down the hallway you can't see down. Um, her on outside maps is also horrifying. But because of that, I'm going to throw her straight in the S tier because, honestly, the hunter, I think she's really fun to play against. I've never gone up against, like, a really good Huntress, like, that can hit all of her hatchets, and I'm assuming that's probably a lot worse to go up against, but for now, I like going up against the Huntress. I Next up, we have the Cannibal, and the Cannibal is... 
I've gone up against the cannibal once and it was really easy to beat the cannibal but and it was it was not fun at all I'm I'm just gonna say it wasn't fun at all I played up against him once D tier I don't like playing against the cannibal Freddy Krueger this is an interesting one to place because Freddy is like if if you if you're set up a, if the Freddy sets up a three gen, you're not gonna win. <laughs> like, obviously that's how three genning is, but there's no counter to it. It's just his traps. I know you know I know you can like wake up and stuff, but like it doesn't do anything. And in low ranks, especially if they know how to set up a three gen and you get three gen, it's really not fun at all. So I'm gonna put Freddy at like a. C tier because if they don't know if they don't set up a three gen then it's fine but if they do then it's really really unfun next killer the pig and the pig is an interesting one because i don't really like playing against the pig but i don't really have a reason to not like playing against the pig like i don't i don't like her stealth and her traps i think her traps are a bit weird um like, just, I don't really fully know how they work. Like, I know, I know where they I think B Pig is like a B tier character to play against. No, no, not above Freddy. I'm gonna put Pig at a C tier. It's just very mid play, mid to play against. It's, I don't know. Okay, next up is the clown. Honestly, I don't like the clown. All right, next up is Spirit. Spirit is an interesting one because if it's a really good spirit, it goes in like C tier. Cause, and I'll tell you why it doesn't go in F tier. Cause. I feel like some people would put it in F tier, but the reason I would put it in C tier uh, is because Spirit still has that omnipresent feeling. Like, you don't know. You hear voices in your head, literally, when you're playing against the Spirit, and I think it's really cool. It's a really cool concept, and I think it sounds really good when you're playing and you're, like, stressed out because you don't know where the Spirit is and if the Spirit's good or not, and you don't know if they're phase-walking, all that shit. Um, so I'm going to put Spirit in an A. Assuming they're not like insanely good at the game with like the best perks and all that stuff Anyways Legion. I don't really Mind playing against Legion. I don't like his feral frenzy or their friend feral frenzy rather um, That's really the only thing we have going for them so. Oh my god. So, obviously you can't see, but I was just- <laughs> I recorded all the way up to the Death Slinger and then realized I had paused my recording. Um, because I had to go to the bathroom. That is- Anyways, so I'm gonna try and- I'm probably gonna go a little bit faster through these next, like, five characters. The Plague- I don't like the Plague because people are always constantly getting me sick. And the plague is constantly like rinse like people on low ranks are constantly rinsing because they think they need to get unsick and they rinse in like the worst places possible like right next to an a generator that we're working on the plague obviously can just get their ability and then kill us all so F here I don't like playing against the plague Demogorgon feels very fun except for when your idiot teammate meg thomas um clears the portal after you've finished the gen in that area i hate when people do that but very fun because there's a map wide presence and you can find out ways to avoid the lunge without getting hit ghost face feels very oppressive in low ranks i don't really like the way he can cloak because it obviously it makes it very difficult to like know where he is um, and in low ranks, people are constantly getting marked, getting insta down. Then you have to hook them, but the ghost face is there. But you don't know because he's cloaked. So it's 
he's a weird one, but I'm putting him at C tier because of the constant pressure, and honestly, it's kind of fun. The Oni. Teammates, dumb, stupid. They don't heal fast enough. The Oni immediately just gets strength, kills everybody. D tier. Deathslinger. I want to talk about Deathslinger for a minute because I hate playing against the Deathslinger. I have won maybe one match against a Deathslinger. I don't know why, because he isn't that crazy, but it just, no, 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 fuck you, Deathslinger, fuck you, I fucking hate you. And you know what, I'm moving Spirit up to S because I like playing against the Spirit. I, I want Spirit to be as far away from Deathslinger as possible. The Executioner. Honestly, I've only ever played against bad executioners in low ranks because they think he looks cool and then they're not good as him. And he's really fun to play against when they're not good. So I'm putting him at A tier because it's really fun when they don't know what they're doing because you can still loot them. You can bait out their like or whatever the fuck the sound is when they do the long attack. So I think it's kind of cool to bait them out and, you know, like chase them or ha then uh, da I feel like I, it's the oh my god. Uh, okay, next up we have the blight. I've only played against the blight a few times. Honestly, it was pretty fun because he, he like you don't know if he's gonna like be near you at any given point. So it's kind of just like keeps you on edge because he's so fast. Um, kind of same with hillbilly, except hillbilly is weird. And I don't like the way he looks. So Blight is cool, and he looks a lot cooler. So he gets to be B tier. Anyways, the twins. Fuck you. Like, she just looks rude. I mean, I know she's a killer, but she just looks rude. Like, fuck you. What the fuck are you looking at me like that for? Like, get your bitch ass out of here with that fucking rude ass stare. Anyways, um... What's his name? I don't know. The fucking K-pop BTS guy. Uh, he's alright to play against. He's like B tier. Because, I mean, it, it's just... No, you know what? I'm putting him at D tier. There's no chase involved. If it's a lower chase, he's just gonna kill you. It doesn't matter. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. The Nemesis. Right? Yeah. The Nemesis. I think it's very unique, very cool killer. I, if it's a really good nemesis, it can feel like there isn't much to do because your teammates are fucking stupid. But I will, given that, I will put him at a C because honestly, C, yeah, C tier. I'm moving Hillbilly to F. I fucking hate playing against a Hillbilly. Sorry. And honestly, I'm moving these two up to F A. They're cool. They're really cool, actually. Xenobite. Okay, the the artist. Honestly, I really like the artist. They have, like, constant map pressure with the crows and shit. So, I'm gonna play art. Uh, I don't want to, like, jump to conclusions, but I think artist is a B tier. Just because, like, there's that constant pressure, but, like, sometimes it can feel like too much pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't like the way I can feel Huntress's, like... I just, like... They feel like they know where I am because they oftentimes do and there's like ways to play around it Which is why it makes artists so fun, but Yeah, I don't know this B tier Unreal. so being an Unreal player myself I've actually literally never played against an Unreal. Um, So I'm just gonna go from my perspective how I think the killer the survivors think it is and I'm gonna go put it at a D tier because if I was playing against myself and I was the survivors that I play against, I think I'd want to kill myself. I find it so easy to get 4Ks with the Onryo. And like, I don't know if that's literally just me. And I don't even get the Condemned. I don't Mori. I literally just get hook kills and sacri or sacrifices. People always say the Onryo is bad too. I don't think the Onryo is bad. I think the Onryo is really good. But that's a, that's, a, that's a thing for a different video. Um, but yeah, I think the Unreal is like really cool. There's an omnipresence. There's the demanifestation. 
Um, but obviously that makes it like hell for the survivors, especially that don't know how to play against her. And obviously I'm saying Unreal's good while being in low ranks, which is like an argument that you can make. But the Unreal is still pretty good. Like okay, so next up we have the Dredge, and I actually forgot his name, so. Um, but I think the Dredge is like, eh, I don't really use lockers. Also, I'm, mar I'm moving Nurse up to C tier, because it's either S tier or F tier. I just realized that I should probably average that out. That was really late, but yeah, I'm putting him at C tier because, like, I don't really use loggers. I don't know. Uh, Mastermind. Dude. I don't like playing against the Mastermind. He doesn't even feel like he fits in the game. F. I always get tunneled as mastermind. Like whenever there's a mastermind, I literally always get tunneled. Knight. Never played against a knight. But I would imagine a very mid character to play against. I don't really see how he can be very fun. The skull the skull merchant. I have no idea. I haven't seen a single thing about the skull merchant. I didn't I didn't even know she was a character. So, this is my completed tier list of all the killers in, from a new survivor's perspective. I'd be glad to do another one of these in a little while when I've gotten a little bit better at survivor, when I've gotten a little more experience with all the killers. If you guys did enjoy the video, please do consider liking the video because it helps out with the YouTube algorithm a lot. And if you want to see more of my content, please also hit the subscribe button. Uh, but before you go, please also head over to twitch.tv slash officially raw. I do a lot of my content over there. So if you would like to watch me uh, live, go over to twitch.tv slash officially raw link in the description. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.